Hi kids! Today we're going to learn porous materials and non-porous materials. We're going to do an experiment. What we need is a basin with water. So we're going to pour some water on it later. Or this is what we call palangana. We're going to use plastic bottles, a metal nail cutter, pencil, we have here a tissue paper, a metal spoon, and we have here an emoji. This emoji is made up of cloth. Okay, we have here our basin with water. We're going to put these materials one by one on the water and then we're going to press. We're going to identify what materials absorb water. First, we have here a pencil. So we're going to put it on the water. Then let us press. Next, we have here a tissue paper. Then let us press. Next is we have here a metal spoon. Then we're going to press. We have here a metal nail cutter. Then we have here a plastic bottle. Then the last one is our emoji made up of cloth. Then let us press. Oh. Okay, so based on our experiment, what materials absorb water? Yes, we have an emoji made up of cloth and a tissue paper. How about materials that do not absorb water? We have a plastic button, a metal spoon, we have a pencil, and a metal nail cutter. Okay, so what is the characteristics of materials that absorb water? So it is made up of cloth and paper. How about materials that do not absorb water? It is made up of plastic, wood, and metal. Okay, so what do you think is porous materials and non-porous materials based on our experiment? So, porous materials is the materials that absorb water. These are the tissue paper and an emoji made up of cloth. And non-porous materials is a materials that do not absorb water. These are the plastic bottles, the metal spoon, the pencil, and the metal nail cutter. Porous materials has a small hole that allows air and liquid pass through it. Like for example, this sponge. This sponge has a small hole that allows air or liquid pass through it. That's why they absorb water. Like our tissue paper and a piece of a cloth. While non-porous materials do not have small holes and they do not allow air and liquid to pass through it. That's why they do not absorb water. Like for example, a plastic wood and metal so again non-porous materials these are the materials that absorb water like our paper and a piece of a cloth while non-porous materials these are the materials that do not absorb water like plastic wood and metal so for more learnings you can comment below what topic we're going to learn or you can suggest what topic we're going to learn and don't forget to subscribe bye